Hi guys, my name is Avalon and this is Nurse in the Garden channel. Uh, today we are going to do some winter sowing of onions. So I think one of my first videos um, was like a winter sowing video. So basically winter sowing is um, putting whatever seed it is through a stratification process. So basically taking a um, cold hardy seed, let it, letting it go through the winter letting it stratify. And um, we do that by using containers like this, um, putting potting soil, throwing the seeds in there. And then, especially with onion seeds, you could separate them really easily. So I did it last year, it worked really well. Um, my first time planting onions, and I think I also had a bit of an onion video too. And I was really happy with the little harvest that I got. Um, of course, some of the fails was that maybe I didn't plant um, them like properly in the garden and then um, I didn't really label them too well either so I ended up not knowing which onion worked better so that was like one of the biggest things just like not knowing which onion worked so I could do better this year. I live in New York zone 7b and um, according to what I've been reading and understanding is that you need um, a long day seed or variety of onion to grow properly here in the zone. Um, I did do some research when I initially bought these seeds and I bought these seeds earlier. Actually, no, I bought them late 2021. And um, I bought some short day and I bought some long day and I thought I was buying all long day onions, um, but only one of these are long days and it's the yellow sweet Spanish one. And as I said, I can't even remember which onion did well or which onion didn't do well because they all ended up kind of looking the same. Um, well, yeah, they all kind of look the same except this kind of flat one. Anyway, um, so when I speak of long day or short day, there's also intermediate days. It's the amount of sun your zone or your area of the U.S., like your, your I guess your area, zone, um, how many how many hours of sun it gets per day so the northern the northern states um, we get we are a long day we get more hours of sun per day um, intermediate that would be like the middle part of the US and then short day is more of the southern areas so as I said I have some short days here um, I do remember seeing this onion and it didn't really do much but I'm trying it again because why not right varieties um, I have Bianca Di Juano. All these seeds are from Baker Creek. Texas Early Grano. Yellow Sweet Spanish. And Violet Di Galmi. I'm not sure if I'm even pronouncing half these things correctly right now. But yeah, that's pretty much the seeds that I have. And these are the seeds that I'm going to be sowing today. Um, today is actually a really nice day here in New York like really nice it's probably 76 degrees and the only reason why i'm wearing a longer sleeve is because i still have mosquitoes in my backyard and you guys know from my other videos i always have a citronella candle lit so i actually have one down here by my feet because the mosquitoes are like literally bit me through my pants the other day and i was like it is fall how is there still mosquitoes but it's a bit warm so i understand why they're still out so let's go over the supplies you're gonna need for winter sewing. So to add one more thing, it's actually going to have, I think after today, it's going to be pretty cold. Um, there's gonna be lows of 40s, highs of mid 60s, and then I believe it's next week Friday. So today is November 7th actually. So next week Friday, there's going to be a low of like 33. So I wanna get these things planted these onions planted so that once it reaches that cold it could start doing what it needs to do um, what's really awesome about winter sowing is that these containers actually um, do somewhat of a greenhouse effect you don't need to water these um, basically it just traps the heat the Sun helps it traps the heat and as it gets more moisture either from snow or rain it stays moist in here and then by the spring it actually starts to sprout which is really cool and i saw that happen earlier this year and i was like i need to do winter sewing again this is really awesome 
So I actually have, as you can see, it's an old lemonade container. And um, I cut the container pretty much in half, maybe three quarters of the way. And I left the, I left like somewhat of a flip edge here on top, I should say, so that when it's time to separate my seedlings, all I have to do is just lift this. And I'm gonna show you guys how to plant your seeds and then how to actually secure this container. You're not gonna need the cap of the container because again, it's gonna create a greenhouse effect and we need moisture air um, to get into this container. I also have milk containers, as you can see, and I did the same thing, except there's one specific difference with the milk jugs, is that you need to, well, it's probably better off if you cut and leave space here where there's a handle so it's easier to open. You could very well cut it any other way, but it just makes it easier. Um, I do like the clear ones better because I like to be able to really see inside these opaque ones. You really can't see what's going on. I mean, you can look through the top, but I like being able to look through the side and see what my seeds are doing. I, I think it's pretty cool. You're going to need a scissor, some tape, and a marker, okay? Um, you're going to need your potting soil, which my potting soil is already moistened. I always moisten my potting soil before putting my seeds in, just so the seeds can stay where they are when um, I, I'm just going to water the top very lightly, maybe depending on how moist my, my mix is, because I sometimes overwater. Um, but that's about it. And you don't have to water these containers again. That's it. Like, it's going to stay moist. It's going to do what it has to do. So, guys, I already prepped three of my containers as you can see and then I left one of these containers undone so you can see what you need to do. I already made a hole in my container off camera just because it's a bit dangerous so guys please be very careful making holes and cutting your containers because you just don't want to cut yourself um, doing a project like this okay. So you guys probably can't see but there's a notch right here there's a hole. And as I said, I do it about halfway, about three quarters, but your landmark with the containers with handles, you want it right underneath that, that lip right there, okay? That makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut all around. Like to test out to see how much more I need to cut, and that's about good. That's really all I need. Okay, okay, so after you've cut your container, now you want to label. And um, as I said last year, that's what I did wrong, I didn't label my containers, and I definitely messed up on that. So now I'm trying to see. Which one? Okay, it's this one. Okay. So now I'm gonna label. And a lot of people, they may use labels or some sort of like waterproof marker. I just go ahead and write all over my container. And it did pretty okay last year. And if I label it good enough, I should be able to see at least one of these names um, by spring of next year when I go to plant them out. All labeled so I'm gonna show you guys just basically what I do I'm gonna just open up my packet now so that I'll be able to get everything in there and I'm just going to simply just plant it out like there's really nothing special um, I'm not gonna do that many seeds because I don't actually have that much space but I'm going to do enough that I can at least get a good harvest 
so as I said, my potting soil is already moist, and now I'm just gonna put as much soil as I can in here. Let me see, I think that's good. I think this is what was, oh, actually a little bit more I'm gonna put. All right, so I'm gonna put that much. Um, looks like about five inches I think is left. Probably less. I am not good with measurement measuring, but that should be good. After I do that, I'm just gonna sprinkle the seeds. And I'm going to sprinkle them pretty generous generously. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. And I'm going to then cover it loosely with some soil. I sowed a lot of seeds in there, I'm not gonna lie. Then I'm just gonna cover it with soil just to make sure that it stays nice and covered. And that's it. So it has space to grow, has space for moisture and things like that then you close it back down at this point what's really cool and what really creates that greenhouse effect is to tape it around this cut area and again you could use any tape you don't have to use any specific tape and i just tape it around and i'm going to do just like one or two more tapes um, wraps around with the tape so you just want to make sure that it is sealed around the edges so even though it has a little bit of opening like right here you just want to make sure it's sealed and as you can see it is moist okay and it's gonna keep that moisture in there although it's sitting i'm gonna show you guys where i'm gonna put it and last year i put it in the same spot and it did really well um i didn't have to water this i don't remember watering this at all um actually yeah no if if i recall in my last in that winter sewing video it ended up snowing a couple of days later so the snow ended up watering the container now we're not going to get snow for a while but we are getting colder so i think it's the best time especially today that it's so warm to get this done i'm just going to go ahead and fill up the rest of these containers and um, i'm going to speed it up so you guys can watch sewing jugs so I'm gonna show you guys where I place these jugs and they will stay there for the entire 
uh, winter until spring until it's time to plant um, these out now I heavily sowed these onions in these containers now can't say that I'm gonna be using every single onion that actually sprouts um, I also did heavily sow it because of the fact that they are well they're technically a bit older seeds I got them in 2021 so I did try to store them as well as I could so I overseeded so that in case like the seeds don't germinate at least that I have enough um, I'm not sure exactly which bed I'm going to plant um, these seeds in next year. Uh, I should say seedlings at that point, seedlings uh, next year. But I'm super excited to see how the process goes. Um, so as you see, I have like the opaque jugs you really can't see through. But it's so awesome to be able to see through the clear ones. I love that. Um, I did go back and make sure that everything was taped very smoothly around so there really isn't too much leakage into the jugs. Um, when you tape it just be mindful it's not going to be perfectly taped so just just make sure that you are taping it securely and that there are no open areas all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and set these over here <gasps> oh, no! one fell oh no those seeds are gonna be all disjointed in there <laughs> oops alrighty so I'm just gonna place them all right here all next to each other so mad that one of these things fell and they're gonna be right next to like where all my other um plants are these are some tomatoes that i picked the other day um yeah so they'll sit here they'll get sun they'll get snowed on rained on and we'll just continue to watch it and see what type of progress we make well i hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know if you have any questions and i'll talk to you guys later bye